Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have a little bit of a bit different setup today. I just about to use a little bit of something different. So we have this pick a card is all about what is the message from your higher self? What does what do you need to know from your higher self? So we have group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. And we'll take ten seconds to figure out which group we would like to choose. Okay, so let's get started on group number one as to what your message is from your higher self. Hello group number one, let's get started and see what your message is from your higher self. So I'm just going to plop that little, little one there, <laughs> little one. Okay, we have, how can you mother yourself? I knew this one was going to come out <laughs> for group number one. How can you mother yourself? and trust the niggle what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you okay so that is the main kind of energy around this reading we then have healer the magician amethyst intuition third eye chakra peace crown chakra and spiritual protection wow so you have a lot of third eye energy here, like a lot of kind of spiritual energy. Like it's all about your third eye. It's all about trusting your intuition, trusting that little niggling feeling that you have. Like, wow, this is absolutely amazing. I love this. So definitely for you guys, you're really kind of getting into the energy of like, what do I need to do in terms of how am I going to kind of go about this situation? The best thing you can do is to mother yourself. You need to look after yourself. You need to know that it's okay. Things don't have to be at the exact same timing that you think they're gonna. They think they're gonna be. Um, to basically look after yourself and possibly look into doing healing. You could be a healer yourself. Um, there's something that's basically want. There's something you want to move forward with, and I feel like you've got a massive possibility in doing this. Your intuition's really trying to tell you something here. We have third eye and we have both we have third eye and the crown chakra. So this is all about really kind of looking into what is making you what is gonna make you feel good in that moment. Okay, so basically you're being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, energetically. So if you're feeling lonely or alone or you're stuck, just know that your guides are around you to help you, okay? So I'm gonna have a look at this amethyst card and we're gonna see what kind of it says in the book because I feel like I need to kind of look at this. And we have number one. And number one is right next to the magician, which is also number one. So I definitely feel like you guys are really kind of, um, you're gonna get a massive, massive synchronicity coming for you soon. Look out for synchronicities. You are guys are starting a new journey, by the way. So there's definitely like a niggling feeling that I feel like is gonna, it's, it's pushing you to start a new journey okay so we have your intuition is very strong right now notice any intuitive feelings or vision that you may be experiencing trust your intuition because this is your inner self spirit guides and angels connecting with you they offer guidance and valuable insights into your life take time today to focus on peace and tranquility as you relax you will feel the answers to your questions coming forward coming forward a lot more clearly it's also a good time to join a meditation group, attend a spiritual workshop or delve into a spiritual matter that interests you. This will help you to reconnect with your spirit guides and angels. Nurturing your intuitive connection will help be will help being about self-healing on many levels and will also enhance your capacity to help others heal through words, energy or even through a hands-on healing modality. Amethyst is a birthstone for the month of February. Drawing this card may indicate that next February will be a significant month for you. Amethyst is associated with your third eye chakra, which relates to your intuition. It can also be very useful in helping you to heal any past hurts. Harness the power of amethyst to reconnect with your intuition today. So there you go, guys. And basically, the magician can be all be about intuition. It's kind of like a higher power. That's kind of you. You have your guides around you. Basically, your guides are really kind of coming in for you. And just to let you know that it's very, very important for you to really connect with what feels right for you and to not ignore that and to really look after yourself and mother yourself um, and to accept that you are a healer, you know, like it's a good thing. And people may call you sensitive, people may call you too, too sensitive or too emotional, but that's actually an amazing quality. And to use that, connect with that niggling feeling that you have, it's just going to bring about a lot of um, emotional security. It's going to bring about self-discovery. And we have with this this card here, 
we have like the two, there's like a light here, a light here, light here, light here. And I think, and there wasn't a light on the middle girl. But basically like it's to do with your solar plexus and your heart and your third eye. Oh, I didn't notice it was three. So it's all to do with intuition. It's all to do with something to do with your heart, what feels good for you to do with your heart. And also um, this is going to help you a lot of your self-confidence once you choose something that feels really right for you, okay? And just to do it and to not ignore it and to know that this is going to feel right for you because you know it's going to be the good, the most, um, the most, the best option for you basically it's going to be the most accurate and the most um accurate for you in terms of what you want to do okay so you just got a massive um coming something's coming for you it really really like something important is coming for you and it's the magician that's kind of saying hey look you're you've got the ability to do what you want to do you can do it okay so thank you so much for watching. If this resonates, please give it a big old thumbs up. Please give it a, a thumbs up and comment down below. Uh, my videos aren't being seen a lot, so please give it a thumbs up and comment just so we can get some more traction going because I feel like you guys aren't seeing a lot of my videos that I'm, that I'm sending out. So um, yeah, also subscribe if you would like to. I would absolutely love for you to be here. Um, and also if you like a private reading, I'm doing 10% off all of my readings until um, the end of September um so thank you so much also my giveaway will be ending tomorrow on the 12th of uh september if you would like to uh enter my giveaway i'm doing two uh readings i'm giving away on instagram and one on youtube so i will put the link down below for the video that tells you all about my giveaway and yeah thank you so much for being here love you so much and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number two let's get started with your reading let's see what your higher self wants you to know okie dokie so we have leap you go first the universe will catch you oh i love that that's so cute i love that that's stunning okay sorry <laughs> got really excited right we have as you're right deep emotional healing your heart is ready to heal from past experiences and you are willing to devote time and energy towards therapeutic care make time for self-care flow Find an easier path forward, surrender the outcome, release your expectations. We then have the two of wands and compassion. Right guys, um, so I feel like for you, you guys are going to take a massive leap forward or you need to take a massive leap forward. Basically, go for it. Whatever you want to do, go for it. This could be um, traveling, this could be a new job, this could be just something really small, but you think it's, for you it's big, like, you know, so it could even be like, I don't know, going somewhere you've never been before, going to a new restaurant, you know, it's just something that is important to you, it's going to really help you with your self-discovery. Make time for self-care, that's really important, you guys are going for an extreme emotional time right now, and to know that, be really compassionate to yourself, and that's really going to help. For this group, I feel like you guys are very, very sensitive. You're very emotional in terms of like, you're very in touch with your emotions and you're very, very caring. So you guys can basically get kind of caught up in your emotions and overthink too much. And also I feel like for you guys, um, you possibly care to care sometimes care too much for other people and therefore leave yourself behind not saying that caring too much is a bad thing but it's almost like when you neglect yourself and you neglect caring for yourself that's when it can basically get out of balance you possibly could be meeting your twin flame or you could be meeting a partner on travels um i feel like there's something that you just want to leap forward and i feel like this can also be to do with astral travel i feel like for some of you guys you may want to try astral traveling because this person like i feel like their body has come out their cells come out their body and they're kind of like floating around so like you could want to do that and it's also about the universe catching you and to know to trust that it's going to be okay and surrender the outcome release your expectation because there's going to be a lot of change coming towards you in terms of this change like this change will bring about massive expansion for you okay and make time for self-care make sure you're looking after yourself um because that's going to be really really important and to be very very compassionate um basically you guys have gone through quite an emotional time this could just be healing from past experiences um and you may need to kind of go to a counselor you may just want to talk to a friend you may even want to talk to yourself or even journal and that could even be you talking to yourself um and it's basically like just letting go letting go and letting it flow and to put your feet firmly on the ground and say I can freaking do this and I'm going to do this because I really really want to so whatever you're debating about just freaking go for it okay and if, if for some of you I feel like for some of you you want to go forward and for some of you it's literally just kind of coping right now um, because things have been really really tough and intense so just really kind of focus on um, I feel like for some of you guys I think um, Lapis Lazuli is going to be really good for you as well 
as you write in kyanite are good crystals but i feel like um lapis lazuli is quite good as well for some of you um this could also be to do your throat uh, sorry your throat chakra in terms of communicating and talking about how you really feel and actually talking about what is on your mind and authentically talking about how you actually feel instead of just saying kind of like oh yeah i'm fine but actually being like no i'm not fine like i'm going through a lot of stuff i need some help i want to talk about it and for some talk to somebody that won't judge you you know talk to somebody that won't kind of think oh like she's crazy or you know she's weird you know just kind of talk to somebody who will understand you and if it's if you don't have anyone that you can talk to journal you can like have a little look in the mirror and say hey let's have a little chat just kind of talk to yourself in the mirror i mean it's a really good way of kind of getting things out and really looking at yourself and thinking what do i need right now and that's going to really help you in terms of intuition if you're having a bit of a hard time tuning into your intuition meditation relaxation having a bath kind of really take the time to be, make self-care extremely important and number one and sitting and just looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, hey, what do we want? What do we need to do in this situation? What's going to help me? Look yourself in the eye and think we can fucking do this. You know, you guys are so strong. You've gone for a lot and it's now it's time for you to leap and go forward into whatever endeavor you want to. OK, so thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to please give it a big old thumbs up, comment down below if it resonated. Um, my reading, my videos aren't really getting seen at the moment. So please, please, please give it a thumbs up or comment down below um i would really really appreciate that or share it with your friends if any of your friends would um enjoy this video and also subscribe if you would like to i'm also doing a i'm also doing my 10 percent off for the rest of september so if you'd like a reading please feel free to um check out my um discounts down below all of my readings have got 10 percent off with a free crystal recommendation which um have been very very popular so please have a look into that also my giveaway will be ending tomorrow on the 12th of september so if you'd like to get in there and get a free reading with me you can um i will link the video down below that has all the instructions i'm giving away one 25 minute reading on youtube and two 15 minute readings on instagram all for free and you can win those okay for you and a friend on instagram and just for you on on youtube so thank you so much and i'll speak to you very soon bye guys hello group number three thank you so much for clicking on this video i really appreciate it let's get started and see what your higher self future self wants you to know we have Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. You also have transformation. Things are changing at a... Sorry, I thought I dropped something. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. That's amazing. I love that. That's so gorgeous. This is proper empress energy right here. We then have sanctuary. Take time out from the world. Spend more time alone. Meditate or go on a retreat. Ten of Swords, put that in the middle. We then have Jade, Wellness, the Recovery of Health and Wellness is here. Let yourself feel all your emotions. And we also have Socialize and Join In. Turquoise, Balance, Throat and Heart Chakra. Okay, so for you guys, you are really integrating a lot of who you actually are, okay? So I feel like you've been blocked for quite a long time or you haven't been able to be your most authentic self. Your higher self is basically telling you to really kind of go for it, girl or guy, you know? <laughs> go for it. Like, really kind of... Um, like, you are not alone, okay? Things are really changing for you and you're basically right at the end of a cycle. You're literally going on to a new cycle now because you're really appreciating who you are. Um, we're socialised and joining. It says make healthy and supportive new friends and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people. So for you guys, I feel like it's really important for you to find um, that person who really suits you in terms of friendship, possibly a relationship. Really connect with people who are on your level. That's going to really, really help you change and really improve. Um, and basically says take time out from the world spend more time alone meditate or go on a retreat so this is basically you going full on spirituality like you're going full on into your spirituality going full on into what the freaking hell suits me you know like I'm going to choose me now um, and to really look after your health and to actually feel all the emotions you're actually feeling instead of like pushing them down pushing them away pushing them to the side and thinking they don't matter when actually they really really matter and I feel like for you guys, it can be, it's quite important for you to either be really like kind of alone right now or possibly socialise. So for some of you, I feel like it's really good for you to join in with friends and make groups. But for some of you, it's actually really good to go on like a retreat. But obviously you meet people on retreats anyway. Um, 
and it's very very important for you to kind of um speak your truth because that's really going to help this energy to flow things are really changing for you and you are on a massive transformative level right now guys um and the fact we got the ten of swords is like you are freaking doing the damn thing so keep doing what you're doing you're doing an absolutely amazing job um, and it says your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you an important message and guidance. And it could be to do with your health. You could be having health issues right now or just kind of be feeling a little bit under the weather. So really look after it. Really look after your energy. And um, clear quartz and jade are very important crystals for you. Um, clear quartz is good for your emotions. Jade is good for your physical health and good for your heart. And possibly you could be healing your heart as well, actually, as well. Actually, as well, you know. <laughs> um and possibly some of you you're kind of going through a little bit of a health issue but so some of you are actually recovering from it i think all of you are recovering from it but some of you may just still be feeling the aftermath of it or just feeling a little bit under the weather so let's have a look at turquoise um balance throat and heart chakra this is a really important time they just said this is a really really important time so just keep that in mind it's time for you to balance out all of the different aspects of your life you have been too focused on a single area in your life it is, this is not a healthy way to be because it causes neglect in other areas of your life and can quickly become unbalanced. It's important that you try to recognise where you are focusing too much energy. Sorry, I'm going to say again. It's important that you try to recognise where you are focusing too much energy. Are you working too many hours? Are you doing too much with your family and not allowing any time for yourself? Are you overeating or drinking too much alcohol? Whatever it is, know that the energy of turquoise will help you to balance you out today. Turquoise joins the earth to the sky and also connects and balances out masculine and feminine energies. Turquoise is associated with the throat and the heart chakras. It can help you to express yourself. Self-expression is very important to help you to remain positive and balanced. It can come in the form of singing, writing, playing, creating or sharing. Experiences... Oh wait, what? It can come in the form of singing, writing, playing, creating or sharing experiences. It may help you to take time to meditate or write down any thoughts or feelings that you experience in a journal okay so that's basically what i'm seeing for you guys if this resonates please let me know please give it a big old thumbs up comment down below please subscribe to my channel i'm also doing 10 percent off for the rest of september so all of my readings are 10 percent off also my giveaway ends on the 12th of september so if you'd like to get a free reading then that is your chance to do so i also do free readings on youtube and instagram so please follow me on there if you'd like to thank you so much and i'll speak to you very soon bye Hello group number four, let's get started with your reading. So let's see what you have. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Where are you being called to journey to? Pallades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Oh, got my number four in there. I made two number fours. No, wait, postpone, pause, say no. Beloved, prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. You believe you are lovable. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Justice. Oh my God, Ten of Pentacles. Wow, you guys have definitely got a relationship coming. Water and Ocean. Laramar Throat Chakra. And we also have control issues. Okay, so you guys really need to say no to people who don't suit you. Um, you're kind of coming into an energy where you are basically being tested by the universe to say, are you going to be... Um, are you going to concentrate on what you need or going to go for what you kind of want instead of what you need, okay? So I feel like for you guys, a lot of you are single who are watching this and you're basically have been going through quite a lot of a bad time in being single. Um, if you aren't single and you basically are in a relationship, your relationship is going to ascend to a higher level or for a lot of you, it's basically for you to say no to certain things and to not kind of dim your light to fit in and to not dim your light in terms of a relationship and not to go towards people who will basically take you for a ride. Um, and I think your control issues are basically coming to an end. So if you have any control issues, possibly OCD, anxiety, um, addictions, anything like that, or people are worrying that people will control you, this is going to come to an end and you're going to come to some justice. So you're going to meet somebody who's going to really, really suit you. You are basically going to be a call to a journey in terms of you channeling and uplifting yourself. So you could be um, a, a speaker, like an international speaker. You could be a world, like I'm getting world leader. So you could be very, very like important in terms of like how you influence people. So you could influence quite a lot of people. You could have quite a big following on Instagram, social media, that sort of thing. Your throat shark is really going to be very important. So make sure to say no and say yes to things you do want to say no and yes to. There may be a thing in your life right now, an experience or a particular thing right now you basically need to say no to and pause okay if this makes sense then keep this in mind 
you guys are also preparing for your life partner so that is extremely amazing i love that and we've got nine of swords and the nine of um, pentacles so you guys are really ending a cycle right now and because you are really saying no and saying yes to things that really don't suit you or do suit you you're going to get justice you're going to basically be like this is what i want this is what i'm going to go towards okay and the ten of pentacles shows me that there's going to be some sort of relationship that's going to really really suit you it's going to basically um test you in terms of how much you've learned over the past few years and i feel like for a lot of you a lot of you guys have actually been single for quite a long time and you basically put starting to put your foot down and say no i'm not going to deal with this crap you know i'm not going to deal with anyone walking all over me that sort of thing and it's also there's a journey that you are being called to right now it could be a new job it could be a new relationship it could be just a new beginning it could even be you wanting children it could be wanting a dog you know it's something that's really important to you <clears throat> and there's a new journey that is coming to fruition okay so also your third eye is going to really be open and you could be meeting um some friends this is you in the middle and i feel like you could meet in two friends who are very similar possibly you could even be twins okay you could have friends who are twins um okay so thank you so much for watching guys um i really feel like you're going to be meeting some um soul tribe as well which is absolutely amazing and you're going to have a massive kind of massive turning point okay amazing so also don't worry you're going to be getting what you asked for okay that's what they just told me thank you so much for watching if this resonates please get a big old thumbs up comment down below and subscribe my videos aren't really being seen at the moment so please do that if you'd like to i really 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 appreciate it also i'm doing 10 percent off with all my readings throughout the entire month of september so if you'd like a private reading all the information is down below and also my giveaway ends tomorrow on the 12th of september and uh, if you'd like to enter to see if you can get a free giveaway either on youtube or instagram all the information is down below i have a link to my video that tells you all about the giveaway and how you can win yourself a free reading with me and on instagram you can actually win a free reading for you and a friend and for you and for oh, sorry on Insta on youtube you can just win one for yourself okay so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon bye